quick tips with Cooley. How to get the treasure finding shovel and how to use it. First thing is first you need to get the shovel from doing quest. The quest you need to do is on Forest Island and they are from Jones right here. If you are having trouble finding the quest NPC, click on your map and you will see a red book with quest on it. That is where he is located. I had to do five quests for Jones before he gave me the quest that I need for him to give me the shovel. So I'm going to pop over to my alt account to show you guys what the special quest looks like. Now, just a reminder, I do not interact with people I do not play the game, I do not talk to people, etc. with my alt accounts. If someone says, oh yeah, I'm Cooley's alt account, it is not me, simply because they're talking to you using it. I do not do that, so please keep that in mind. Stay safe out there. Now let's continue on. Here we go, so I did five quests, now I'm on to number six. And this is the one you are looking for. So Jones is going to say, I moved to Forest Island in search of some hidden treasure an old friend told me about, but I'm getting too old to keep searching for it. Now you can see it says activate the beacon at the northernmost point of Forest Island. So we need to go find that beacon, which is very, very simple to find and activate it. All right. So where you need to go is, I'll bring up the map, so this tippy top of the island, here we go, I did change horses because it was slow, but this is the beacon, so you only need to ever do this once. There we go, and it has the cutest animation to it. And now we head back to Joan, so then he will give us the treasure finding shovel. Now to find it in your inventory you need to go to the quest section and equip. Now that you have your treasure finding shovel, this is a quick explanation on how to use it. Go to your quest in your inventory and equip your treasure finding shovel. Now you will hear it beeping. You can also see that the light flashes from red to green. Now the faster it beeps, the closer you are to the treasure. So by the sounds of it, I'm quite close already. So let's have a little ride around. So it's slowing down, which means I'm not going in the right direction. I need to turn around. It's increasing. So it's over here somewhere. Now you do need to be in the right spot. There we go. So now you can see it's flashing near constant and the beeping is near constant. Just click anywhere on the screen to dig and there is your treasure chest. There are three different chests that you can find starting off with your common chest which you can still get some really really cool items from. The yellow chest is rare so harder to find in the common and finally is the legendary chest the hardest to find out of all of the chests now you can find chests on every single island including rp so role play island and it is pretty random what type of chest that you will get you will not find for an example, the legendary chest in the same spot again and again. It doesn't work that way. But if you want a better chance of getting higher tier chests like the legendary and the rare, 
the higher level island that you go to, the more chance you have of getting them. I really, really like to treasure hunt on Forest Island because there are plenty of spots where the treasure chests will spawn and they're quite close together so you can collect a lot in a brief amount of time. Now if you do want to see me opening up treasure chests, I have um, done a previous video on it. The video didn't exactly go to plan, but it was also a win. So I'll link that down below if you want to check that one out. But there you go. So that is how you get treasure. Now when you do pick it up, they will come up in your equipment. So let's open the legendary, shall we? Just to see. So there's lots and lots of different things you can get and some rare items as well. We'll see what's in this one. So just click on the screen and then click open. And from that one, I got 17 apple tree seeds. So not bad. That'll actually give me a ton of experience growing those trees. So there we go. That's how you find and use the treasure finding shovel.